about your delusions. It's another to accuse me of attempted murder. Maurice, do you have any proof of what you're saying? Ask Agatha. She rescued me. <laughs> Agatha. You'd hang your accusations on the testimony of a filthy hag. No offense, Agatha. Monsieur Le Fou, he was there. He saw it all. Me? You're well, right. Don't take my word for it. Le Fou, my dearest companion, did I, your oldest friend and most loyal compatriot, try to kill the father of the only woman I've ever loved? Well, it's a complicated question on a number of accounts. <laughs> but no. No, he did not. You. Maurice, it pains me to say this, but you've become a danger to yourself and others. No wonder Bell ran away. You need help, sir. A place to heal your troubled mind. Everything's going to be fine. Just fine. I saw her in the ballroom and said, you're making everything look so beautiful, we should have a dance tonight. I never imagined she'd actually say yes. What was I thinking? No, Master, it's perfect. The rose has only four petals left, which means tonight you can tell her how you feel. I feel like a fool. She will never love me. Do not be discouraged. She is the one. I wish you'd stop saying that. There is no one. You care for her, don't you? Well then, woo her with beautiful music and romantic candlelight. Yes, and when the moment's just right. <laughs> well, how will I know? You will feel slightly nauseous. Don't worry, Master. You'll do fine. Just stop being so nervous and tell Belle how you feel. Because if you don't, I promise you'll be drinking cold tea for the rest of your days. In the dark. Covered in dust. Dark and very, very dusty. Start with the hair. Women love nice hair. I'll take the fingers and toes. Chapeau, brush those teeth. They need it. 